If you find something abnormal in your breast, you want to know what it is. Is it something non-cancerous or is it something more serious? So what is the best way to find this out? Well, the best way is by actually getting a physical sample of the tissue with the biopsy. So if you find something in your breast, it is likely you would be recommended to come to the breast clinic for assessment and see a doctor. In the clinic, you should get what is called a triple assessment. This involves you getting examined by a doctor and then, if needed, getting scans, either an ultrasound scan, a mammogram or both. If we find something abnormal on imaging or your scans, we need to find out exactly what it is. Now, the majority of the time, we can tell from the clinical examination and also by looking at the scans whether something is worrying or not. However, the proof is in the pudding, as they say. And the only way we can, with 100% certainty, know what we are dealing with is by taking a tissue sample of it. And this is what a biopsy does. It uses a large bore needle that is able to take a sample from the lump or the area of concern. So what happens when you need to have a biopsy? Biopsies are usually done in the radiology department under local anaesthetic. Firstly, we'll clean the area with an antiseptic wipe. Then we'll numb the area we are targeting. And to do this, we use local anaesthetic and we inject the area around it. And to be honest, this is probably the worst part of a biopsy. The local anaesthetic may sting a little bit, but when it goes in, after that, the area should feel completely numb. So it's not that bad. You will feel a little bit of pushing and prodding, but you shouldn't feel any sharpness at all. And if you do still, then do let the doctor know and they will give you a little bit more local anaesthetic to numb it even further. We then use a special biopsy needle that has the ability to sample the breast tissue. And it's important to understand that where the needle goes in is not usually where the lump or the area of concern is. The needle is actually quite long, and so it will usually go in the breast away from the area that we target. So don't worry, the lump or the area is still being sampled. It's likely that more than one biopsy is taken, and that's because we want to make sure that we sample the area correctly. The last thing we want to happen is if we didn't get enough tissue, we may have to go back and remove more at a different time, and so we'll have to get you back to the clinic again. The majority of the time, the biopsy is done with the help of an ultrasound scan machine. And this is usually for lumps or abnormalities that we can obviously see on the ultrasound scan machine or the ones that we can feel. However, if an abnormality is seen on a mammogram, for example, and not on an ultrasound scan, for example, microcalcification, then the biopsy will need to be done under mammogram guidance. And if this is the case, then you will need to come back on another day for it to be done. Once the biopsy has been done, we'll put a plaster on the skin and you'll be given instructions as to what you need to do when you get home. We always advise for patients to take some painkillers once they get home, as the local anaesthetic will eventually wear off and the area will no longer feel numb. The tissue sample is then sent to the lab where the pathologist will analyse the sample, process it and look at it underneath the microscope. And this process can take anything up to a week, sometimes longer, and you will then have to come back to the clinic for the results and we'll be able to talk about it more. The results of the biopsy essentially will tell us exactly what we're dealing with. Now it's important to realize that just because you have a biopsy doesn't always mean it's a cancer. We very often perform biopsies on either non-cancerous lumps or areas that we're just not sure what we're dealing with. Biopsies are very useful to do because it means that the doctors can find out exactly the nature of the lump or the abnormality. If it is a cancer, then we have all the information that we need to help guide further treatment. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video.